You know, and also where I met an old friend of yours. Los Angeles, California. And this morning, 54 contestants gather on the last day of Hollywood. They've already survived the toughest week of their lives, but their most difficult challenge is a party. No, I think I, I like what she just said, that, that she agreed with us, because it was not the right song, and it didn't, you didn't perform it well, so... Good looking out. Smart. Should she stay in? I don't know, based on last... We forgot the lyrics, but last night we didn't see anything like that. But Alexis, you've made it into the top twelve. carriers who saved an average of over $28 per month. American Idol will return in a moment. Coming up tonight, right after Lie to Me, President Obama unveiling a massive plan to fight foreclosures, how it could help struggling homeowners. Plus a dangerous toy putting some dogs in the emergency room, what you need to keep away from your canine. Join us for these stories and much more tonight right here on Fox 2 News at 10. Now more than ever, you want to get the most for your money. Look no further than the mid-sized 2008 Kia Sorento. A powerful V6 engine, five-star safety rated, backed by an industry-leading warranty, and it's priced about 6,500 less than a Toyota Highlander V6. Or to put it another way, a year of college tuition less. The 2008 Kia Sorento. It's money well saved. The Kia Sorento, starting under 17.2 after 5,000 cash back. Disney on Ice presents Worlds of Fantasy, featuring your favorite stars from Cars, The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Tinkerbell and the Disney Fairies, plus see a princess at the Disney Princess pre-show, free to ticket holders. Discover this amazing world of fantasy and Disney fun at family-friendly ticket prices starting at $15. Tickets on sale now. Race to see Lightning McQueen and his pals from Radiator Springs at the Palace of Auburn Hills, February 25th through March 1st. Now at Art Van, you can save up to 70% on all the ultimate brand names during the bonus coupon mattress set sale and close-up. Save on names like Sealy, including Posturepedic, Simmons, including Beautyrest, and King Coil. Save an extra $100 on the Simmons Beautyrest Queen Studio Set, now just $4.99. Plus, no interest for one and a half years. There's free delivery, and Mattress Express will even deliver your mattress next day, guaranteed. The bonus coupon mattress set sale and close-up, only at Art Van, Michigan's betting leader. 
next, all new, Lie to Me on Fox. He can be programmed to be anyone. This is art. Is that an oil change? The dollhouse adventure has just begun. Everything you want, she will be. You made people an assassin. Put it down, or I put you down. Dollhouse. Viewer discretion advised. All new Friday at 9, 8 central on Fox. Welcome back to the show. Tonight, your votes are putting three people into the top 12. Two of them have their stools. One is left. Who's it gonna be? Anne Marie, would you stand up and hang right there? You sang Natural Woman. Randy, Karen, Simon thought the song was too big for you and you ruined your one chance. But Paula thought you gave it your all. Okay, stay there, Brent, would you stand up? You sang Hicktown. Randy said you would make a good country artist, but Kara, Paula, and Simon criticized your song choice. Stevie, stand up, please. You sang, You Belong to Me. The judges all agreed that they were disappointed in that performance. Simon actually said, you had zero chance of making it into the next round. Harsh. What are the results? Randy, size up these three. What do you think? Uh, Ryan, honestly, neither one of them performed up to their potential last night, dude. So it's going to be rough going, I feel. Here are the results, then. After the nationwide vote, Randy is on the right track. None of you made it into the top 12. But thank you very much for everything you've done. Thank you. So. Danny and Tatiana. Come on down. How's it going tonight for you, Danny? It's good. Yeah. I feel a little overwhelmed by the unknown. <laughs> Tatiana. You are moments, you are moments away. You good? Moments <laughs> away from finding out whether you made it or not. Can you talk about how you feel? I'm not quite sure what that means. I don't know. I've... One of you is in the top 12. One of you is not. Paula, which one do you think deserves that spot with this show it's hard to say and how it's going you know you can't take anything for granted you have to vote 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 for everyone that you love and it's tough Viewer discretion is advised.
sponsored by Garnier Fruit Teas. Tired of hair color washout? Why throw in the towel? This is Garnier Fruit Teas Color Shield. Now. There, two amazing entrees and lots of choice. Applebee's two for 20, the best deal in the neighborhood. Eyes, the truth could bring the whole company. One Metro Detroit man never thought he'd be in foreclosure. He did everything right, or so he thought. Fox News' Simon Shakehead tells us he got taken for a very expensive ride. I was in that house for 20 years and never missed a payment. An eviction sign sits taped to a house Eugene Moore once called home. Eugene bought the house on King Street in Detroit back in the late 80s when times were very different. He says a few weeks ago he was evicted after becoming the victim of a mortgage scheme. The sheriff showed up uh, with six guys and uh, uh, just said, we are here to evict you. I says, wait a minute, uh, you know, I've been making my payments, so uh, they just come in and said, we, if you don't open the door, we will. Back in January of 04, he says he applied for a job with a company called Remtech Holdings, LLC. The company deals in mortgages and convinced him to rework his own, promising that this deal was legit. Even though he didn't need the help, he agreed, believing he could become an advocate for the company that helped others. Then in July 2006, he was foreclosed on and learned that his money never went towards the house. Now he had to pay roughly $60,000 or get evicted. After losing the house, Eugene then learned another mortgage company bought it and was selling it for a new price. $9,900 to uh, buy the house, and, and I just have no way of getting that type of money now because uh, I, I had to go in bankruptcy due to all this. Fox 2 did some checking and found out that Remtech was sued by the Illinois Attorney General for similar practices in 2007. Other lawsuits have come up in Utah and in Michigan. We did leave a voicemail for the company president, but our call was not returned. Tonight we also checked out an address that was registered to the owner of Remtech. When we went to the door, someone answered saying he hadn't lived there in months. Simon Shaykat, Fox 2 News. For so many Metro Detroiters, help fighting foreclosure can't come soon enough. As Fox News' Andre Isom shows us, one company is helping homeowners stay put. For some, it means saving a home they've had for 50 years. Well, two weeks ago today, we did a story about Metro Detroiters struggling to save their homes. This mortgage crisis has people at their wit's end. All they want is some help. Well, tonight, there's hope. I thought that I might not live through this based on my age. 85-year-old Agnes Hilliard has lived in her home here in Livonia since the 1950s. At the age of 85, you would think she'd be retired, but she can't afford to because her home is in foreclosure. I'm a registered nurse and I still work three days a week, 12 hour shifts. Well, there's been financial problems. I would like to stay here. Vivian Jackson of Detroit is also afraid she'll lose her home to foreclosure. Vivian's husband, Freddie Jackson, was a police officer. He was killed in the line of duty in 1986. Vivian was able to keep things going for her and her family for quite a while until times got really tough. This is something I never expected that would happen to me. Never, never. And I just cannot imagine leaving my home for 34 years. Where am I going? 
I don't think that anybody should give up, especially without giving us a try. Lasonia Epps is a senior consultant for Jador Investment and Consulting Group. The company consults on behalf of homeowners who are in the middle of a mortgage crisis, and she's had a lot of success. Here's how she was able to help one of her clients. The lender and decreased her interest rate from 11% down to a 6%, which lowered her monthly payment, took the